Hey girls and guys, it's Presley and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my flaws because everybody's got flaws, including me, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And I have notes of me listing down all of my flaws that I'm going to be talking about today in this video. So the first flaw I have is that I dislike change, which is no surprise. Even if it's a big change or even a small change, I'm still going to fucking hate it. Like, like for an example, if someone um, gives me something that I normally like, which is the same thing over and over, it's usually the same thing that I like, but then someone else gives me something like something different and I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck is this? Like, where's my normal, where's my usual thing that I get? You know what I mean? Like, again, di dislike change, like especially when I was in school, whenever we get different seats, because I always sit in the front because of my eyesight. This was way before I had glasses for the seating arrangements at school. I'd always sit in the front because I can't see well, especially when I'm in the back. So when I get a different seating change, that's a big issue for me. And my mom always assures the teachers this even before school started. And that was just big issue. I always have issues with change and I know change happens every day, but I'm thinking fuck change, you know, but change is a natural part of life and there's nothing I can do to get rid of it. No matter what happens, I have to adjust to change every single day. It takes me a while to adjust to change to like, like it doesn't take me a few hours or immediately to adjust to it. It takes me a day or two or even more than that depending on what it is anyway next up is that I always stay in my comfort zone and I barely step out of it which is basically the same thing as change like I'm all I'm always in my own bubble you know everyone's got their own bubble that they stay into and some people want me to step out of my comfort zone comfort zone excuse me and I'm like no I stay in my own bubble and there's nothing people can do about it just to like push me out of it or pull me out of it. I can I can step out of my comfort zone whenever I feel like it. I don't want anyone forcing me out of my own bubble. I can get into different bubbles whenever I feel like it. But for now, the bubble I'm in right now is where I'm going to stay for for however for whenever I want to stay in because this is my comfortable bubble and I prefer this bubble, unless I want to change my comfort zone, which will be, I don't know when. Next up is that I give up easily. And that, honestly, that one's no surprise to me either. Like when I look, when my mom or my dad, when someone asks me to look for something, I look for some, I'm terrible at finding things most of the time, even when I have my glasses on and I'm thinking, I can't find it. Like what, even if it's in front of me, like it takes me a long time to find something for what I'm looking for. I don't, I barely look into the, the nooks and crannies of anything I try to find for somebody and it takes me a long time. And then even after 10 seconds, I'm like, oh, I give up. And then, and then my mom or my dad or somebody is like, you didn't even look, you didn't even look. So I just look again and bam, there it is. Found it, found whatever I was looking for some, for whatever it was, just gave up too easily bad habit of mine and a bad flaw for me, I guess. Next one, which I'm really ashamed about is that I apologize whenever I make a mistake. And it's every single time I apologize for a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes, but I hate making mistakes. I really hate it. Like, especially when I tell someone a secret that's supposed to be keep hidden. Like when someone tells me a secret I'm not supposed to tell anyone and then I told and I tell someone and then the person I told the secret to um the person that is the um excuse me the person someone tells me the secret gets mad at me for not for not keeping the secret to myself we get a little upset well not upset just disappointed that I just didn't keep the secret to myself and not tell anyone else and I apologize to them numerous times and I, it just makes me feel bad. Sometimes I just can't stop thinking about the mistake I made. Sometimes it keeps me from falling asleep. It's that, it's that bad. 
it's it, it is pretty bad but it takes me a while to move on from the mistake and as soon as long as nobody brings up the mistake when I try to move on from it as long as nobody brings it up then I'm good I'll move on from it but as soon as someone mentions it I'll remember it I'll it'll come back up in my head and it freaking sucks I hate it thanks for reminding me of the mistake I made 20 years ago not 20 years ago because I am 20 excuse me what is wrong with me today <laughs> anyway next again next one I have a hard time moving on from my mistake which is the one I just explained already from when I apologized for my mistake I already told you I already told you guys about how hard it is when I move on from my mistakes anyway last one is that I overthink things and that is a lot whenever I try to think of something I like whenever I come up with ideas on making a new video how well it's gonna turn out I'm like uh like a lot of information overload in my freaking brain like my brain can only process so many information in my head and it's like ugh, it kind of gives me a headache if I think too hard or something like that it makes me lightheaded most of the time so best thing I could do is just take a break and try not to think about whatever I'm thinking about is just take a break and work on it tomorrow whatever I'm doing so those are just all my flaws that I can list right now I'm pretty sure I have more than the flaws that I've listed but I don't know what other flaws that I have at the moment but the only flaws I have right now are just listed here so that's basically it so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment share subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you guys in the next video peace